Welcome to another tutorial from Aladdin. Today we're going to show you how to set up the Biflex 1. So in this case there will fit two different lights to this tutorial. One side the Biflex 2, what just comes in daylight or tungsten. And the Biflex, what comes in a bicolor version. The, um, for this setup I'm going to show you how to set up the Biflex 2. So, in the box you have a panel, a diffuser, the X bender, a power cord, two different mounting options, an extension cable, the dimmer unit and the power unit. So, we're gonna start how to set up the light onto the tripod or lighting stand. So for this, we're gonna operate it from the back. So you see on the corner, we always have the Velcro and some little hooks. The hooks are mainly the idea is to, to attach them somewhere or to attach them together. So to set up the light to stand, we need the expander and one of the two light, uh, mounting options. So either you have to choose between a 16 millimeter uh, mal stud that goes in the center to the expander. So the main idea is when you use, um, for instance, a C-stand or a grip arm, grip pad. So for an example, so you can put this into the grip pad and you're gonna have um, more put up possibilities to position your light. But most of the times you use a lighting stand and for a light stand you're gonna use the ball head with the female 16 mil adapter. In this case you unscrew the front part of the ball head. Then we have a little small little cutout that hold that's gonna provide that the X band they're gonna hold in place. And then I screw back the front mount and now I screwed it together in the, front, in the wrong way. So always look out that the, the, the edges are bent direction the, the mount. Because on the next step we're gonna go with the banded edges underneath the Velcro. Always do the cross ones. Now we set up tight and straight onto the expander. Then with the ball mount I have the possibility to, to adjust my angle, position. I have two ways to go onto a light stand, this way or this way. Depends what you want to do, if you want to have more, um, a bigger angle or not. Then as an option in the kit there is a diffuser. So the diffusion, we could put it straight onto the panel. The problem is going to be we're not going to diffuse the light. We're just going to lose some light output. So the, the diffuser is only going to work if we have a few centimeter or an inch distance to, to the multi-LED panel. That's one of the biggest mistakes I always see. People put diffusion straight on the front of the panel. So that's just going to eat up light. You're still going to see all the individual LEDs. So to put the diffuser on it, I have this little uh, metal hooks that swings around. So I swing them around over the corner because that's going to provide me the additional distance to the panel for the diffuser. So then I set up the diffuser, that's a little tricky, but that's providing us a very, still a very lightweight light, not a lot of weight to mount the diffuser on the edge. And I can put the Velcro on the back, so you see that's providing us a few uh, centimeter or an inch of uh, space between panel and diffuser. 
Of course, it's not like a softbox, but it makes it more comfortable to look into the light. If you want to have a softbox to the light, so you could buy an additional softbox. So we do have a um, softbox that gives us even more distance. So it has a silver coating in the inside and that provides us more light output than with the regular diffuser I found out. So this one mounts a different way. So we have um, Velcro on all the sides. So we Velcro this to the back. We still can put the metal hooks around the corner that provides additional um, stability to the structure and ta-da! That we have a softbox. So the softbox also has a diffuser. It's even slightly bigger than the regular diffuser. It goes on to the front. There we are. And that gives you an evener light distribution than with the diffuser because of the additional space between panel and diffuser. So if we want to get more control of the light, we also have another accessory that calls the grid. So the grid gives the light a direction. So from 120 or 140 degree, we go down to about 90 or 60 degrees with the, um, with the honeycomb. So that gives us more control of the light, for instance, to get rid of spread light on the background or even throw the lens. So to, to set up the, the power to the panel, we have the dimmer unit. So either we can connect it straight to the panel or use the additional extension cable. It always goes yellow to black, but for this presentation, we're only gonna um, use the dimmer directly. So for the power option, we have additional battery plates, for instance, a V-mount plate or gold-mount plate that goes straight onto the back of the dimmer unit and is connected internally. But we show you in another video how to set up the battery plate onto the back of the dimmer unit. In this case, we're gonna use the power unit, the main cable, goes into the power. And then on the bottom, we have a little on off switch, hold it for a second and the light turns on. So then I can dim the lights and I can adjust in big steps the color temperature or I can go for fine tune and adjust the color temperature in very, 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 very little steps. Yeah, to mount it on a tripod, we have a little plastic hook here, so it can be hanged to the tripod, so you get rid of weight on the panel, because some people want to put it on the panel, but it's additional weight, so you're gonna be more lightweight to use it on a boom, or you can use a, even a smaller tripod. Yeah, that's about the, the Biflex and FlexLite 2 uh, assembling tutorial. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment and we're going to do a few, uh, some future tutorials about your questions. Thank you.